a special bulletin covering the latest from the CEC. Tesla sets a new record and module prices continue to rise along with the latest news from around the industry. Wednesday the 12th of August, I'm Andrew Burgess and welcome to the Juice News. First up, in tonight's news, in what is one of the most challenging periods currently facing the Australian economy, and particularly for those of us who are operating in Victoria, I'd like to bring in the CEO of the Clean Energy Council, Mr Kane Thornton, to bring his latest updates and thoughts on the insights of what's going on in Victoria under the current restrictions that are in place. Kane, over to you. Well, thanks very much, Andrew. I'm joining today from Stage 4 Restrictions here in Melbourne, Victoria. And while in many parts of the country we've seen record levels of installation for rooftop solar over the past month, it's a really tough time for the industry here in Melbourne facing Stage 4 Restrictions and essentially a shutdown of the industry for the next four weeks under most conditions and certainly for the installation of rooftop solar in residential homes that are occupied. We've been working hard to get as much certainty and clarity as we possibly can for industry and we're still waiting um, for some final resolution to a couple of areas. Uh, the treatment of commercial scale solar installations, we're hoping that that will be captured under the uh, construction definitions and therefore be able to continue under obviously some, some very strict regulations and requirements including worker numbers on site. We're also expecting clarification as far as uh, limitations on workers and installers who live in stage four areas travelling out into those stage three uh, restriction areas out into regional Victoria. So stand by for clarity on that, hopefully in, in hours ahead. In the meantime, please do look after each other. This is going to be a tough time for the industry here in Melbourne. And so reach out to your colleagues, uh, to your friends, to your co-workers who are going to be facing a really tough month or so ahead. Take care, everyone. Thanks Kane, really appreciate the effort that you and the whole team from the Clean Energy Council are putting into supporting the industry. We really look forward to hearing from you guys over the coming weeks on the Juice News. As a final reminder, nominations close on the 18th of August for the Solar Design and Installation Awards. So if you haven't already done so, jump on it and get your application submitted. In other news, prices have been rising across the PV supply chain since mid-July associated with two accidents at two polysilicon facilities in China which we reported on a couple of weeks ago. Prices on wafers in the last two weeks have gone up 15% and it will be sure to flow into module prices over the coming weeks so I really encourage you to look at securing stock and placing your orders as soon as possible. For this week's tech tip, I'd like to pass over to our good friends from Fronius. Guys, over to you. Hey guys, it's Timmy from France Australia. Nice to have you here today. Um, I want to talk about a bit more about Fronis Open Interfaces. It's a um, key philosophy we support going forward. It enables us and you to provide better solutions to the end customers and better applications as well. Typically, they're split into two components, hardware and software. Hardware being the digital IOs that we actually support. They can typically be deployed in applications such as hot water control, electric vehicle implementation, um, heat pump control, and much, much more. Software being the um, Modbus uh, capabilities we offer, as well as the APIs. Typically, they can be deployed in uh, scatter systems, so that's monitoring, control, and much more uh, as well. For all the latest in what's happening with STCs around the country this week, I'd like to hand over to our good friends from Formbay to give us the latest numbers and trends. Formbay, over to you. SCC price is currently $38.25. Late last week, the price dropped a little to $38.15 and has since recovered. The SCC supply being made into the market this week came in at 819,000 STCs, which is down 78,000 STCs from the week prior, which is 897,000. This is largely because of Victoria, which is down 12%. Thank you, and that's all from us. For the latest updates on what's happening in the solar juice warehouses, I'd like to go to my favourite segment of the week and bring in Rami, who will give us the latest update on the solar juice portfolio, as long as what's coming in and going out of the solar juice warehouses. Rami, come in, buddy. Rami here from Solar Juice. Since 2009, we've been fine tuning the, the products and brands that we've been carrying within a product range. And very recently, I think we've finally provided the best possible mix. For solar panels, we have REC, LG, Longji, JA, and Trina. 
Very recently, we just added Hyundai. In terms of inverters, we've, we have Fronius, SMA, FEMA, and just recently, we also added SunGrow. For mounting, we have Schleder, and for battery storage, we have the Tesla Powerwall. Very excited about this product mix. Back to you, Andrew. In storage news, it's great to see that the Tesla big battery in South Australia is going through final testing for its expanded capacity, going from 100 megawatt hours to 150 megawatt hours. The system has proven to be extremely reliable and has provided a lot of stability in terms of the grid down there, providing frequency control, as well as being able to lower the cost of wholesale electricity prices. A fantastic achievement from all the folk involved in this project. For all the latest on leads around the country and what's happening in terms of hotspots and where to focus, I'd like to bring in our good friends from Three Quotes. Guys, over to you. Thanks, Andrew. Hi, I'm Craig from Three Quotes. What an extraordinary year it's been so far. As we are moving through the second wave of COVID, we are seeing some markets being impacted again. And yet the solar industry as a whole has never been so busy. The recent months have seen the highest install volumes we have on record. Homeowner interest continues to be high and nationally we are seeing household spending shift from items like international travel to investing in home improvements. And this has been great for the solar industry. Based on previous year trends, we expect to see a steady growth in solar inquiries as we move into the warmer months. At three quotes, we have unserviced homeowner demand in Sydney, Melbourne, Canberra and Perth markets. If you can assist us to service these inquiries, please get in touch by going to threequotes.com.au. I'm often asked by our stores, what are homeowners looking for? Homeowners are motivated by a wide range of values. Some are only looking for best price, some are mainly interested in best quality, while others are looking for a balanced mix of all factors. Therefore, we have a need for solar installers to offer a wide range of solutions to our homeowners. Our recommendation is to know your position in the market and to thrive to own that space. That's all from Three Quotes this week. Have fun and keep on selling. Back to you, Andrew. This week, our customer in profile is Stuart from IQ Solar. To hear about his business and what he's been up to, I'd like to bring him in right now. Stuart, over to you. Hey, my name's Stuart from IQ Solar. Uh, we're a Sydney-based solar company looking after high-end residential systems uh, using good quality products. We also do a range of commercial work. So recently we've uh, just completed 100 kilowatts in orange. And we've got a few other systems of that size. We really like to buy of solar juice, have an amazing range of products as well as uh, good stock levels. Uh, one of my favourite panels actually is this one. Uh, this is a Trina um, with a black backing sheet. So it looks absolutely spectacular if you've got a dark roof. That is one of our favourite products. Um, but there's a good range here, including uh, you know, JA Solar, LG, REC, and so on. In terms of inverters, uh, SMA, Fronius are our kind of go to's. Solar's going great at the moment, um, and it's a nice sunny day, so we should see some good uh, monitoring of people's systems. Cheers. Well, that brings us to an end of another week of the Juice News. Thanks a lot for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you again next week. Before we go, a quick behind the scenes look at the Juice with my colleague and good friend, Rajiva Mendes. Rajiva, take it out. Hi, my name is Rajiva Mendes. I'm one of the business development managers for Solar Juice. I'm really excited to be completing 10 years with Solar Juice come December. It's been an amazing journey so far and I'm looking forward to the next 10 years. I wasn't really a quintessential salesman back in 2010. I had a quality assurance background. Thankfully, both Andrew and Rami had the confidence and the patience in me to grow as a salesman and overcome the challenges along the way. I guess I've come a long way since then. If I were to go down memory lane, I actually worked remotely from Melbourne for two years and moved to Sydney after establishing a good customer base. I recall selling my first inverter way back in 2010 in my first month at Solar Juice and then soon after I sold my first kit at 25 grand, believe it or not. And the rest as they say is history. Little bit about my past life, I actually lived and worked in Qatar for almost six years. 
before moving to Australia. I used to work for one of the largest PVC manufacturers in the Middle East as a quality assurance manager. One of my proudest achievements being signing off QA for over 6,000 gas, water, drainage, pipes for Doha International Airport, one of the largest and the busiest airports in the world. Finally, a little bit about me. I'm actually a diehard Bulldogs fan, even though they haven't been doing so great. I also played rugby, uni in my heyday. I was very fortunate to represent Sri Lanka in the under-19s and lucky enough to tour a couple of countries during that time. That's pretty much it from me. I hope everyone's keeping safe during these tough times. Take care and stay in touch.